my lovely wishes. It's Holly. How are you? Welcome to Dandelion Stitches. Welcome if you're new. Welcome if you're not. Just so cool that you're here with me. I know it should be old hat by now, but it's not. I'm just super excited for everybody who comes. So uh, we got a couple things today. We've got the uh, sew sampler. Ooh, it made a big noise. Um, February. And I have a couple of announcements. Um, the Cotton Cuts giveaway is done um that person has been notified and uh so that's a done deal and then i'm gonna tell our winners of the pouches today so the winner of the pink pouch is marla mclaren and the winner of the blue pouch is tanya and she there's no last name with your email so I'm not sure, Tanya, what your last name is, but um, emails will have been sent so they know uh, what they're they're getting. So, yeah, that was fun. That was a lot to keep track of, I have to say. Three at a time. That was uh, my, little, my little system, but it worked. So, um, congratulations to everybody who won anything. Uh, we will be um, definitely giving more away. Uh, I, a reminder, or if you're new here... Uh, March 1st, we start with another three-month Battle of the Boxes. I'm excited. We've got new and different boxes from the last time that we did this. Um, and it's just fun. It's just, that's all I can say. It's just, it's fun. We get some fabulous boxes and we get some zingers and we get to say that that was good or that that was lame. So um I will be a little bit closer to the 1st of March. I will be letting you guys know what boxes we're going to be judging. And um, yeah, so looking forward to that. So let's uh, let's see what's inside Soul Sampler. Okay, so Sampler, what you got for us? It's, yeah, did you heard it's got, must have many, many small and exciting pieces. Okay. So, this month's theme is Enjoy the Little Things. I like that. Oh, well, that's a pretty good coupon code this time, too. That's the other really um, thing about getting this little sampler box, and I didn't write down how much it is. It's in, it's under 30. Um, is the, it, is, there's a, always a good coupon code if it's something that you're looking for at that moment. Um, oh, Okay, it's a, I would call it a hemostat, but they're calling it a thread grab, a thread grabber, which honestly I use them to get the hair out of my dog's ears. But you know, we don't need to know. You don't. You don't need to know that. <laughs> okay, so um, usually there's a hey, hi, how are you? What's happening? Um, okay, well. Uh, let's find the fabric and put just put that to the side. So we've got a Make Time Scissors large needle case. All right. Um, I would. I'm. I'm honestly asking not to be snarky. Who uses these? Does anybody use a needle case? Um, I have. And maybe it's a really good idea, and I ought to start using it. I've got other things I put my needles in, but uh, I'm, I would be curious on how many of you actually use a needle case, and if I should be doing that. Uh, this is the Make, the Make Time Scissors Needle Case is a bright spot for your needles to add to your sewing bag. Made of durable canvas, that it, that is nice about this one, is... Um, it's happy color and print will always stay vivaciously visible. Wow. Um, wherever you are, additional pockets can keep clips and thimbles handy. All right, they got me there. They got me there. All right. Next is the Blue Featherweight Thread Ostat Thread Grabber. This is the perfect tool for that thread behind the bobbin case or the foundation paper stuck in a stitch. The all-metal thread ostat thread grabber has a smooth jaw to grip tightly and securely as you clamp the handles together. It always helps to have an extra hand in the right in a tight space. Okay, uh, let's, let's see if I can just slide these out of here. 
These are tight ones. Wow, okay. Unhook, you buggers. See, it's got like a little, if you've never used a, therm a chemostat, it's got like a little uh, teeth right here. And you have to get the teeth loose. That's how it locks. Okay. There it goes, I think. Almost. Almost. There we go. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. All right. Um, yeah, it doesn't have any teeth. I think the therm the hemostats I usually use do have teeth on them, but uh, that's cool. I love the color. I'll tell you, when you got it closed, it's not going anywhere. So, all right. El Fresco Quilt Pattern. That's cute. <clears throat> oh, should I, I'm I'm not giving the values. The needle case was seven ninety eight. The hemostat is fourteen forty eight. This pattern is nine ninety five. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, the alfresco quilt will refresh your senses with lovely large stars and bright piano key border. The exclusive sew sampler pattern partners swimmingly. Who, there's whoever's writing this has got a serious thing for alliteration, which uh, you know, oh, okay. Um, pattern partners swimmingly with the sun washed jelly bar included in this month's box and will go together like a breeze. And then there are finishing kits available at the Fat Quarter Shop. So let's look at this real quickly. Um, 54 and a half by 54 and a half. This looks like a, like a fun, like, uh, um, picnic blanket sort of thing. Cute. Okay. Next up. Quilty Scraps Biodegradable Bag Six Pack. These cute bags are perfect for your sewing room retreats or in the car. Made of biodegradable plastic polymers, these bags have two adhesive strips so that you can hang it anywhere to collect your sewing scraps. Gift it to friends or compost it with food waste when it's no longer needed. Oh, cool. compostable, that's, that's nifty. Riley Blake, again, taking over the world. Um, hmm. Okay, so it's it feels it feels like plastic kind of, but but different. And then it's got a sealable Oh, it's got it on both sides. So there's adhesive on this side and then there's adhesive on this side so you can close it or hang it. All right, uh, that's, that's nifty. Oh, what did I do with my... And this then is the quilt along. That's cute. That's a cute quilt bot. All right, this is about the Jolly Bar. We'll look at that. Um, hmm, I, I missed the pins. Do, 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 do. That's because it doesn't say anything about, oh wait, wait. Uh, extra long ballpoint pens. I like them when they come in these little plastic cases with lids. All right, they're, okay, okay. Let's. Not the sharpest tack in the eh, pretty good. Hmm, I don't know. I'll have to use those for a bit before I could actually say yes or no. 
uh, just that they're pens for medium weight knit fabric. Now, why? 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 Now it totally makes sense. That's, but why would you put that in a quilting box? They're perfect for knit fabric. <laughs> I'm just such a knit picker. I should not. But really, why? If you're doing a quilting box. But anyway, okay. So this is the quilt along. It is time to look at the fabric. So this jelly bar, which I am not familiar with jelly bars. They are five by 10 inch squares. So little rectangles. Oh, well, okay. For uh, that, that makes perfect sense. A summer picnic quilt. Um, it takes a jelly bar. Two and a half yards of background sashing and borders. And if you're going to get on me because I showed you the cutting stuff, I'm sorry. Fat quarter shot. I'm not getting rid of it. Okay, that's cute. That's, you know, that's cute. <clears throat> All right, and if you want more jelly bars, you can use the QR code to go to wherever the jelly bars are, where the jelly bars live. I'm assuming it's the back quarter shop. Let's, uh, hmm. La, 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 la. I, I'm going to get it open. Okay, this is sun washed by Corey Yoder. This is very happy. This is happy fabric, I have to say. So it looks like there's two of, this is white on white. Oh, that's different. Oh, that's cute. I do like this big gingham. This has got zero appeal for me. I'm sorry. It's like dead air here, but I just don't even know what to say about it. It's like I'm trying to find the, like maybe it's the, I don't, I don't know. It is, it's very cute. This is, I do like this. That's cute. Are those wingless bees? Are their wings are a little sh okay? I, I think they're supposed to. There's little like twigs that are their wings, but that seems sad. Wingless bees. They have little prosthetic wings. I'm sure that's not what she was thinking of. She was thinking, oh, won't those bees look cute with little twiggies for wings? Okay, that's all she wrote for So Sampler February. I'll see you at the other camera. Okay, So Sampler. Um, yeah, not. Uh, 
a lot of stuff, like little stuff. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna give it away. I, there isn't anything here that I don't even already have or that I'm really loving. So um, email, so sampler, so sampler February, I, I'll know what you mean. So um, yeah, I'm unimpressed. Let's, uh, let's just say unimpressed. They were unfortunate that they came after the So Yeah box because <laughs> that was good. But um, so let me know if you want it. Um, I got, I hope everybody's good weather has been crazy, like everywhere. Um, I, I even heard like Los Angeles had like freeze warnings or that it was supposed to get really cold. So, uh, I really hope everybody's good. We had bad ice yesterday, like covering everything. Our tree branches were just, it was bad, bad ice. Um, but it's gone now. So anyway, be well, be safe and I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.